Welcome on back everybody. So I am visiting Helgen for uh, just to do some light grinding and strangely enough the gates leading into Helgen itself they weren't working. They no, 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 no way to interact with them and open them up they were just stuck closed. So I've had to go around hop up some a few hills and hop over the walls but you know it, it worked out in the end kind of cool being able to do a rooftop assault especially since I can just make the enemies do all the work for me by attacking one another oh got a few guys up on the tower but I managed to hit them even with my shaky ass hands so that that's pretty solid now I don't quite recall Helgen still being on fire after uh, you know after the tutorial and once the bandits move in and stuff so that was kind of weird but whatever you know now that the uh, enemies are all clumping together I figure let's we'll start pumping them with some AOE attacks trying to get some lightning so I can start rezzing the bodies as well. They will never not be attacking each other. Now, uh, well, okay, there's a guy in that building over there. And I am currently stuck. I, I, I cannot get out of here. I am stuck on fire. And if you notice on the right, there's a bandit hanging around there uh, next to the, next to like the gate archway. And he cannot also move from his spot. So, uh, this is... This is a really problematic. Because I, I can't get out of here. <laughs> Helgen is completely full of invisible walls. I think... Something with the alternate start mod I'm, I'm using has... Bugged the area out. Help! <laughs> get me out of here! I think it has bugged the area out and it's still using the tutorial version of Helgen where everything's on fire and you're extremely gated on where you can go, hence all the invisible walls everywhere. So uh, yeah, that was that, that didn't work out quite as well as I'd hope. Anyways, I think it's time for us to move on up in the world. We got a letter from a Jarl. Let's see what that's about. Oh, nice. We can be a Thane, but more importantly, we can get property. And that's always important to have. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Pricey never quite made sense for me uh, in the carriages. Going to like the bigger cities only costs 20 gold, while going to like Falkreath, a smaller city, costs 50. I guess maybe it's because there's no uh, carriage here, and I don't know, logistics or some shit. Oh well, the blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Sure thing, officer. Now, annoyingly, uh, as hinted by that guard, talking to the blacksmith here. Wait, don't, don't what? You know what, motherfucker? How's this for burning buildings? Anyways, annoyingly, uh, talking to the blacksmith will force a quest in our quest log. This game just loves shoving quests on you. <laughs> Hmm, your house isn't quite as nice as Balgris, but I'm not one to judge. Good to see you. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. You don't know that. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. Why are you How telling a stranger about this? First, but now... Now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Good. 
Then again, who would you admit your uh, blatant corruption to? Someone who's a part of the uh, community or just some random stranger? So if said stranger runs out and goes, the Jarl is, is working with bandits, or, you know, who the fuck are you? Get the hell out of here. So it's going to be quite the distance away. So I'm trying to see what would be uh, closer, but honestly, I think running from here would be faster than fast traveling elsewhere, so time to start running. Now, once again, we're going to see some excellent examples of my shaky ass hands. And here's me trying to support one hand with the other hand to get me to, con get me to you know, be a little steadier with my aim. So let's just speed up. Of course, my dumbass would happen to cast Fury on the person I've already casted it on. So, ah, fuck it. Let's just get close and personal. Maybe one day I'll, uh, buy, like, weighted training gloves. I wonder how well that'll work out with VR. Maybe that'll help with my hand tremors. Certainly help a hell of a lot with, uh, using guns in VR because real-life guns have weight. Kind of hard to replicate that in VR. Oh, by the way, I have enchanted my dagger with a uh, frost enchantment, and I'm using a mod that gives this really cool uh, particle effect around the blades depending on what weapon enchantment you're using. It's very, very visually interesting, but it also leads to some hilarity where I'll be uh, whoop, sneaking around and yeah, completely miss that throw. Or I'll be sneaking around and enemies won't see me, even though I have a clearly uh, glowing weapon in my hand. And I... Oh, uh, shit, I don't think I've mentioned this, but the weapon throw mod upgraded to have like several different kinds of grenades. So that's what I was trying to throw, but my aim ain't too hot. Okay, boomer. Yeah, uh, strangely enough, my biggest enemies are the uh, mages, mostly because they use wards just constantly. Just non-stop ward usage, I swear. I got a, a spell that'll damage them whenever they cast spells, but the damn, uh, damn guys are constantly using wards, so I can never actually activate it. But all in all, not uh, not too bad. It got a little bit hairy, but rather successful. What's uh, nice about this particular mine is that uh, Auriculum, Auricalcum, however that hell it's pronounced, uh, is a f guaranteed drop here. So, and sweet. So, if uh, you have a high smithing level, you can kind of get ahead of the gear curve by taking a quick trip over here and grabbing yourself the uh, stuff. Also, have I shown off the uh, unlock spell yet? I think I have. But hey, let's uh, do a nice transition and... Well, hey, no, I want I want to grab... Oh, this is a mysterious hidden uh, fake bottle. Now, I was going to do a transition, but this is actually kind of short in here, so let's see what, what goes on on the inside of this dungeon. Uh, this place also has a uh, auric calcum deposits inside, so that's that's a good thing. I think deposits reset like every thirty game days or something ridiculous like that, though. What? What was that? Last mistake. But this is the uh, chief that we need to take out, and how kind of him to come straight for us. Oh damn. Uh. Time. Time to time to be a little more strategic in my attacks. Hey buddy, if you can attack my friend at any point, I'd appreciate that. 
There is a, a level scaling issue from uh, the more bandits mods. I up the leveling just to make things a little more threatening. So here's a new plan. I made myself invisible. I got some fury spells. He's got buddies in here. So kind of just run on in and, and make them all fight each other. Or more importantly, make them fight him. Now, don't mind me, guys. Jeez, even even that one bandit hitting me fucking knocked me. Uh, it, it possibly my my the fact that I keep putting points into stamina and mana instead of strength or not strength instead of health is starting to bite me in the ass. I haven't found any health enchantment upgrades, so that's probably what it is. Now this guy's actually a pretty heavy hitter as well, so. I'm gonna bring him to life. That that is uh, kind of the beauty of running with a uh, frenzy spells, and then as well as the ability to resurrect people, because then I can just make them all fight each other when they're alive with the frenzy spells, and then I can make them all fight each other again once they all die. Cause yeah, he, jeez, he really fucked up that dude. <laughs> Just, just keep fighting all your former friends. Jeez, yep, so much for that. Uh oh, and he broke my shield. And then I, at this point I realized, so I made my companion stay back so I could stealth so he doesn't aggro her. And just kind of realized, oh shit, I could have at least had her around to help out. But hey, we did it. Good job, buddy. Uh, I won't judge your lack of pants, but hey, we did it. Here, I'll give you a hug. And, wow, even the undead do not want me to hug them in this. Now that we've got that taken care of, I'm dropping on over. He seems to be uh, staring at the grind wheel. I hope that's not a problem. I gra I swiped up all of the armor, all the weapons, and packed it all. Well, first I packed it all into the companion, and then I packed it all over here. So he's got about 300 gold worth of buying power. But Jorland here is the master uh, trainer. So I trained myself all the way to level 50. All the gold gets put into uh, his shop inventory, so now I can sell all my shit right on back to him and get, ideally, most of my money back. But uh, at 50, I can get myself, uh, I can I can upgrade orc weapons and whatnot, since that seems to be the next flavor that we're currently hitting. And yeah, that's... Uh, there's also another trick to uh, getting your money back with leveling. Supposedly, you can pickpocket people. Good to see you. But hey, boss, I'm back. I killed everyone. I took all their shit, and I can now make myself some good orc weapons. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falgrief Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Ah, uh, finally. Now. We can ask him for more stuff to become a proper Thane, but uh, I only have enough Thane ship in my heart for one Jarl, and that is Daddy Balgruff. But hey, now that we're friends, he won't mind me taking all of his coins. If I can actually, you know, put it away properly. But yeah, we need to speak with his companion here, his steward. His steward's a high elf. Balgra steward was a dark elf. Wonder if the next thing we speak to will have a steward who's a wood elf. Find piece of land where you could build your own house. 
You won't regret it. Here's the time. Hey, a little personal space there. Jesus Christ, Cher, come on. East from Fall Creek, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. May wisdom forever light your path. Now, five grand, quite a lot. If we were to have bought the home in uh, Bree's home back in winter, uh, sorry, back in White Run, we would have uh, probably costed the same, but that would have gotten us an actual house. This just gives us the property. But, eh, you know, people say that property is not worth more than human lives, but I've killed at least 20 people to get access to buy the property, so that house is at least worth 20 lives. Also, uh, hey, what, what's going on here? You're interfering with official Thomor business. Oh, I, uh, I see. What's up, buddy? Oh, uh, let's not get entangled. If you know any... Oh, never mind. They just, they didn't like me talking to the guy anyways. Uh, alrighty then. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna... And I also got a bounty for that. So, uh, maybe I should have became a thing just so I can get that bounty, because I'm not paying that bounty. I guess, I guess we're not gonna be, uh... We're not, they're not going to see us in Falkreath anymore. For some reason my attack spell bugs out, so fuck it, let's get out the sword. Or my dagger. Well, that uh, could have gone better. And just right after we got the ability to buy property, we just immediately start fighting with some, uh, I don't know, cops? The Thalmar, are right? And what is kind of nice is it gives us elven armor, and that once again is kind of a a, a jump ahead of the uh, item curve. What's up, buddy? You didn't see anything, all right? And then what's funny is the prisoner ran up in this direction, which activated the bandits that hang out here. And I do gotta say, does the Jarl? Oh. Does the Jarl, is he not aware that they're like bandits who are, have a checkpoint like 20 yards away from his hold? that there's no other bandits besides that one before I go and chase her. Sadly, I cannot parkour up a uh, incline like that. What a shame. And then, of course, we run into a bear as well. This Somehow this walk to my house has been the most deadly walk I've ever taken. And she's hostile to the bear, so what if, what if I just kind of... Never mind. You say that, but why don't you come over here and actually take me? Good job, buddy. Now, assuming there's no other interruptions along the way. So here's the pine watch that the the uh, steward said. And yeah, we'll just ignore that for now. Because I need to see my property. Ta-da! Five grand for a piece of land. Now we have to build up the house as soon as I can actually look at the book. Is there some way I can assist you? Come on. <laughs> uh, you know what? There Fuck that book. I, can I can't knock it off either.
But in short, we use this drafting table, which will let us place layouts. We get more as we build the house up some more. What can I do? And we can... We'll need, you know, nails and sawn logs and whatnot. We get all the things. We get a, a starter kit that lets us build up to the first stage of the house. We're going to have to smith nails, hinges, locks, build up all the doors, the flooring, all that stuff. Uh, supposedly, I've heard in the past that the hearth fire stuff was great for... Oh, hey. Ta-da. It was great for leveling smithing, but then they made smithing leveling based on uh, financial worth and not per item, so that went out the drain. But we finally got a safe container, and I can drop all of my shit that I don't intend to sell, so I'll go ahead and throw Balgriff's present in there for now. And let's go, let's do a little walkthrough of the place. This is our saw. A sawn log pile, which we can see how many logs we got. To get more of those, we'll have to buy them from the various sawmills around Skyrim. Uh, somewhere nearby, I was trying to look for a clay deposit. There's a clay deposit a little bit ways back there. And we also got a stone quarry right out here to get more stone. So it's just weird that, as far as I know, each house has a quarry. Oh hey, why is there blood in the distance? But each house has a quarry and clay deposit, but you can find those out in the wild as well. And it's kind of strange why they bothered with that. If you ever need stone or clay, you just mine it at your own house. Hmm. Well, this is rather concerning to have like 10 feet away from my house. That's, uh... Eh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's nothing. I mean, there's no one here. And I've gone on ahead and I built up the second stage of the house as well. But now that we've done that, why not give the neighbors a little visit? I mean, it's it's only a polite, after all. We can give them a little housewarming gift or something. Imagine being the neighbor of a RPG protagonist. I wonder how that always works out. Got the door locked. Maybe they got a key out back or something. I'm just I'm just very excited to meet our new neighbors. But apparently not, and this will be the one instance where I pick a lock instead of either having the companion do it or try to use spell since I don't have a high enough alteration to unlock it. Hello dear neighbor, I have dragon scales to give you as a housewarming gift. Maybe no one's here. Oh, hello, neighbors. Whoa, hey. Alrighty, well, this is, we're clearly in self-defense right now, and I think we may have interrupted something because I don't think she finished dressing. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, damn. This is a uh, part of the uh, whole thing I have to deal with with uh, that armor mod. But, you know, let's just not dwell too much on her right now. You will yield in hell. Where the hell were you, Cher? What the hell? Okay, so I think Cher is currently bugged. <laughs> Alright, there you are. Well, we just killed our neighbors, so uh, we need to get the hell out of here. God, we be we get property in in uh, Falkreath. We immediately fight some cops, kill our neighbor. Time to we're not gonna be welcome back there again. But let's cut on ahead and oh, you do you. We're gonna continue some of the companion quest line here. So Ayella's uh, quests here are actually um. Radiant quests, annoyingly enough. So it's just it just picks some random dungeons out. Now between cuts, I went on ahead and changed my stone to the apprentice stone, which with the uh, Andromeda mod makes it so my novice spells are free, 
and my other sp uh, and other spells are cheaper as well as making uh spells either be slightly more powerful or slightly weaker so i can throw around these uh frenzy spells completely free i'm just running around going invisible uh i should mention that the cloak of shadow spell which makes me invisible also makes me run faster so that's always nice so yeah, so I can just I can just do shit like this. And what's great with the whole uh, free free spell thing is yeah, I don't have to worry about running dry and the uh, rhyme drop spell, which restores some mana whenever I hit enemies with it, is also free. So all in all, not not a not a bad not a bad combination. Thanks for the help, share. Always great. Oh, and then we just need to get the uh, Wuthrad. Huh? Yeah, same. You ever had one of those days? Yeah, they booby trap the chest, but booby traps don't work too well. Anyways, ah, job well done. Let's uh, head on back to the companions. I've been running. Have you been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand, friend? I wish I could be there with you. Another piece of glory. Good work, Shield Sister. I've been hearing rumors of Silver Hand activity. A group of them has holed up in White Run. Run fast, my friend. Sure thing, Ayala, but. Oh, hey, neat. Right next to a place uh, I can fast travel to. You know Skior is just fine, right? I don't know what's with your vendetta. Are you looking be for careful. help with something? This is a busy time. This had better be important. Well, mm -hmm. you do you, buddy. I guess we'll go kill some more people then. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>